Hi, Mary. How are you? Hello, everybody. Good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? Got some strays here to trim. They're sticking out all over. Everybody have a good weekend. Where's everybody from? Hi, Levine. How's Harless? My buddy. Little Miss Miracle is up there causing a commotion. She's playing with everybody. <laughs> Beating them up. All right. We're going to start with a, a 14 inch um, grapevine wreath. We have a 14 inch, it's, it's cotton all wrapped in a, a ring, okay? And the ring feels, I, I want to give it some stability, so that's why I'm going to attach it to the grapevine wreath. And one good thing about doing this, hi Jean, is if you put these in a tobacco basket, they kind of sink down in. So if you wanted to put it in a in a grapevine or in a tobacco basket, if you put it on top of the grapevine wreath and put it in there, it kind of sits up. So it's not like buried down in there. That's not what, I mean, the plan is not to do this, but I thought I would share that, that if you, you did something like that, it would sit up for you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple zip ties and I'm going to zip tie this ring to the wreath frame. I'm going to use black because I think that'll disguise a little bit better. I bet it's hot down there. The humidity came out today. So I'm trying to pick a spot where I can kind of disguise it. I'm going to put a couple in there just to keep it in place. Thank you. We'll see how it goes. Do you ever have, go to the eye doctor and they dilate your eyes? They're driving me crazy today. <laughs> yes, they're my reading glasses. She gave me contacts today. Woohoo! So we're back in business. I had to have my eyes checked and I needed my contacts filled and... I had to go to the eye doctor today. And I have sensitive eyes. And boy, I came out of there and I could not see for nothing. And I had to drive home. It's like, why do they do that? 
when they know you're the only one there. But we're back in business. I know, right? I told her I've been dropping things all weekend because when you wear your glasses, there's a part that's kind of hard for you to see. And I kept mistaking the, you know, the end of the table and I was dropping everything. So I'm glad to finally have my contacts back. So now I can see without these, but to read and up close, you know how that goes. And my prescription didn't change, so that's awesome. The prescription was three years old. So she said I could keep my, my regular glasses. Okay, so we're zip tying this um, cotton ball ring to the grapevine because it did not feel sturdy to me. Now this will be available as a wreath kit. I only have three left. So if somebody's interested in that, first three in the comments gets it. It'll be like $48 plus shipping. Well worth it because you'll get everything you need to make this wreath, ribbon and all. And I'm just attaching it to the top of it and disguising it with the cotton. And because it's dark, it kind of blends in so you don't even see it. But again, I just wanted something to really hold it. One, two, three, four. I think I can use like one more like right here. So did everybody have a good weekend? It's going to be a real simple fall wreath. It's really going to look pretty. Let's see, I got it disguised so good I can't even see how many we got on here. I think one right here, and then we're done. So it's secure to the grapevine. Again, you could even use this as a, um, you know, as a centerpiece in the table. Because see these cotton, they're all individually wired. So you could pull them down over the side if you wanted. You could put a nice big pumpkin in the middle if you wanted. There's several things you could do with this. Now I have these. These are fall. Um, this is fall grass. It's kind of green and then it has brown at the tips. So we're going to incorporate some of that in there. I also will provide um, some leaves with the kit. And then there's these. They're called fall leaves. <laughs> and then they have these little balls in the middle. But I thought just that stuff just gently placed around in between. Um, now I'm looking, I'm thinking this side here this would probably be the best place for the bow right here. So we'll leave that side kind of open. And then we'll just work around this way. 
Now I'm gently going to try and push some of these in to the grapevine. I'm going to place them now just to kind of get a visual on where I want them to be. If I miss your comments, I'll keep looking back. There's like four leaves on this and a couple berries and then these little balls in the middle. They not even have to glue them. Boy, they go in there real solid like... Again, this just sits it up really nice. Ooh, somebody's biting somebody up there. I can hear them. I do have extra leaves. Um, I even have a pumpkin pick. I'm not sure if I want to put the pumpkin in the in the uh, ribbon, the bow, or what. I think I'll wait and see. And I'm going to stick a few fall leaves in here, like in between. And because the cotton is going this way, that's kind of the direction I'm taking the uh, um, all the p the pieces that I'm adding. Just taking it in a circular motion. And I don't know, I may just, I may trim this cotton off. Um, we'll see. Hi, Sherry. How's my little man? How's the puppy? I feel getting better. We started out with a grapevine wreath, and now we're using um, a ring of cotton that we attached. See, look at it so far. Takes a minute for it to show up on my screen. Isn't that just simple and pretty? Add another one. It now. Oh wait. We'll add some of that greenery. I like how the cotton just like pops out from behind it. It's a nice canvas for the uh, for the um, leaves and the picks. Thank you. Thanks. You guys are awesome. Now, I don't know how this is going to look. So, the screenery, if you want it in there or not, or if that's adding too much. Well, I think that looks okay. Just gives it another look.
some of it's darker than others. Yeah, that looks good. Trying to find like the darker pieces. Blue in the leaves. And the cotton really um, disguises things well, too, as far as where you're placing things. Covers up the, uh, the bottom really well. There's wire in it, so it, you can form it and move it. It's a nice pick. I like the colors in it. Stringy glue. Hi, Lillian. Welcome. See, now I can put that down in there, and then I can maneuver the cotton around to totally disguise where I put that in. My hand I burned it that's why we got the aloe here Ouch. there we go we're good that's why I keep it here
Hi, Thelma. Are you home? Did you make it back okay? There we go. That stuff keeps it from second degree burn. <laughs> and this pot is really awesome, but I hit the side of it. It's too far away from me. So that's why it burned me. My own fault. All right. So pretty much we have everything in there where we want it. Okay. So we can now... Oh, that came out. Didn't have it pushed down all the way. We can now go ahead and make the bow. There. See it so far? Oh, well, I'm glad you're home safe, and I'm glad I had a great time with them. Now, I also went ahead, I don't know if I'm going to use this or not, because I don't know if it's too dark, and I may have to do it a different color, but I had the uh, Welcome. I don't know. I'm thinking it needs to be a different color, like a green, maybe. I think a green would look better than the brown. Thank you. We took a cotton ball ring, attached it to a grapevine. And the reason I did that was this way, if you wanted it as a centerpiece, all you have to do is push that back in place and put some more picks in there. Or if you wanted to put it in a tobacco wreath, it'll sit up. Wouldn't that look nice? And then a, a nice bow just down here on the wall. It just gets buried down in there because it sits, the basket's kind of the depth of it. You want to see the welcome sign again? Can you see it? Let's do this. I think if it was green, it may look better because you really can't see it on there. Yep. Needs to be green. All right, so we're going to start on our bow. Now, I've got several, several um, rolls here to choose from. I definitely want to use this one. This has glitter along with the leaves. I like the orange. This one, I'm not sure on. This one has pumpkins and gourds. Then we have the green check. I thought that would, I don't know. I thought this was a little dark, but I thought maybe this would lighten it up some because it has the, um, it has the cotton in it. Now I do have it, I do have it where the cotton is glittered. But I didn't know if I wanted to use that. And then I had this one. So, maybe not the green. And maybe these. Or maybe not that one. Maybe just those four. What do you think? I 
might even show up nice and orange, but then I thought I'd be fighting with the orange in the leaves and it'd be hard to, you know what I mean? So we'll have to think on that one. Thank you, Lillian. So what do you think? Ditch these two and do these four. Yeah, because this is pulling out the cotton. This is pulling out the leaves. This is pulling out the orange. And this is pulling out the orange and the blue, or the orange, the brown, and the white. Let's give it a shot. If we don't like it, we can always change it. I'll rip it apart and start over. You like the green? This one, LeVon? So you're saying make the sign that color green and then add that in there? Is that what you're suggesting? We could put that in there, and you know what? Then we'll take this, this one here, and we'll just make one middle um, loop with two little tails to kind of end it. You know what I mean? Sure. We'll give it a shot. All right. All right. I haven't even used this one yet. And boy, I got a lot of stuff to put away. We got a lot of stuff coming in for the Halloween classes and lots of good stuff. We're also going to be working with um, some of the Unique in the Creek boards. There we go. I don't know if any of you saw the um, sunflowers that my class made last week. Now, I'm thinking I want about a 12-inch tail, right? And about a 6-inch loop. And I think I'm going to go with just two loops of this one. And then we go with the 12 inch tail. <coughs> Excuse me. Dovetail. go with the orange and the orange I'm going to do four because I want it to really pull out some of the color in here. Again about a 12 inch tail. Just about a half inch smaller than the other one.
I love fall. It's one of my favorite seasons. And we'll do the green next. Or maybe we'll do the, yeah, we'll do the green next. inch tail. And we'll do the cotton next. <laughs> hey Sue, how are you? You're never late, dear. Never late. We did a, a wreath, Sue. We attached um, a cotton ring to a grapevine wreath and we added some fall picks. Thank you for sharing, Sue. Appreciate it. You're a doll. She's my biz buddy. She makes a mean rag bow. All right, then we'll go ahead and we'll just use a little bit of this one in the front because it ties in all the colors and I think what we'll do is we'll just do one loop we'll give ourselves a 12 inch tail and we'll just do one loop Just a little one. And look at that. It ties in the brown. It ties in the white. It ties in the orange. Oh, that looks awesome. You guys are my inspiration. You inspire me. This is a little too long. There. zip tie. 
Thank you, dear. Hi, Belinda. You're never late. Don't worry about it. You can always go back and watch the replay. We took a 14-inch grapevine wreath, and we attached a 14-inch ring of cotton to it. And we added some leaves and some picks and some grass. And now we're making the bow. And we may end up cutting some of the cotton off, and we may not. We may need it for height. And this is this is one that I will have available as a wreath kit. I only have three. So if you're interested in it as a wreath kit, you need to let me know as soon as possible. Hi, Ann. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Appreciate it. Oh, crap. I wanted to put the wire in there. I already pulled it too tight. Let's see. And I did it on top of the, the um, grapevine wreath because I didn't feel the cotton ring was stable enough. And this way it can make a really nice centerpiece too if you wanted. And it sits up. It's not laying flat. And I also showed everybody you can put it in a tobacco basket if you wanted. And it will, if the tobacco basket has some height to the sides, you put it in there, it pops out of the tobacco basket. See? I didn't want to put it in a basket, but I thought I would show that to you all. Now to try and fish this through. Thank you, Ann. Hi, Tequila. How are you? And this is one of three wreath kits that I have available. As some of you have been asking, and I decided to get enough for three more. So if you want it, let me know in the comments, and I'll figure out what the shipping will be for you. Boy, I cinched that tight, didn't I? Don't want to waste a zip tie. Come on, there you go. Just needed a little coaxing. Thank you. Okay. And then we have the welcome sign, and I painted it brown, but I think I'm going to paint it green. I think it'll look nicer being painted green. So, and there's my back. There we go. Now, I was going to trim some of this cotton, but I don't think I'm going to because I think it will help keep the bow up off the, the grapevine wreath base. So I think I'm just going to put it right over top of it. And the kit will come with all the picks, the uh, grapevine wreath. It will also come with the ribbon and the cotton ring. Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we can do here. Everybody have a good weekend. Finally got my car back. Had to get my eyes checked. They dilated those today. But I got my contacts. Yay! I'm sorry. I'm so used to getting ready in the morning and not having to take glasses on and off. Oh, can't handle that. So I'm wearing my readers, my cheaters. I was afraid I'd get up in the morning and the dogs wouldn't know who I was. This needs to go up a little. I should have got out the fluff box. Okay. What do you think? And then we'll paint this green and stretch that across. Fit this pumpkin in here too. I don't know, I don't like the pumpkin, so maybe I'll take a few pieces of the cotton that's underneath here. Nope, that doesn't look good either. I think just leave it the way it is. What do you think? And then just paint this green and have it go across there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Christine. Thank you.
Yeah, I think it did. I think it did need the green bow, Levon. There, I was holding it wrong. So I'll paint this green and then stick that across like that. I just thought it would be nice that this would the cotton would soften it and I've had it for a while and it's like I wanted to do something with it and I thought this would be awesome to incorporate it in with the fall and this would really stand out being green I don't know if I have any green paint. I should. I do. Like, like I think this green would be a pretty color. This is like a chalk paint that I have. Isn't that an awesome sign? Home is where the crickets sing. I had originally made that for this tobacco basket. But see, it just sits down in there so much. So maybe what I need to do is take one of those grapevine wreaths and set it up and then take some of the cotton and put it around the outside rim as this is sitting up. Because it just didn't, it just didn't look right. And the sign was so big. What do you think? I think that color green, because that kind of goes with the green in the ribbon. So I think that's just what it's going to need. And like I said, it could be, if you bought the wreath kit, you could make it as a wreath for the door. Or you could leave it like this and make it, put it in a tobacco basket. Let's see what it looks like in there with the bow. That's pretty. Or you could ditch the bow and put your picks all the way around and put like a few pumpkins in the center for a centerpiece. I think that would look nice. I know, right? I just, I just love that saying. That, that to me, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to have to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to have to figure out a way to pull it out. And then put the cotton on the rim and put a nice big farmhouse bow down here. Going to have to maybe use some of that in it. Because see how well that matches? It's pretty darn close. I did make that sign smaller um, because I, I did want to put it on a charger plate. Um, so I did, I did reduce it in size. Yes. You're right. You're right, uh, Levon. Now, I don't know. Did any of you um, see our class? See the class pictures for the um, oh, the unique in the creek boards because we're gonna do one of these. Now we made a sunflower, and out of this yellow mesh, and boy, the girls did an awesome job. And then we braided for the center of it. We braided some felt really tight. Jean, did you see Marty's wreath? Let's see, we put this in the middle. We had it wrapped around like this, and boy, did that look nice. So I've got some boards on order. We're going to do a few character boards, putting a sign in the middle. Yes. Yes, it is, Sue. And then um, I bought the Christmas tree form 
from the Unique in the Creek, and we're going to make some angels closer to Christmas. So stay tuned. We got a lot of cool stuff coming in. Um, I've got a bunch of black wreaths coming in um, for Halloween. I got a whole new selection of Halloween ribbon, Halloween picks. Um, we're going to put some kind of saying on this charger plate and put it in the middle here. And we can either attach a bow to this, we can attach it to a wreath. There's several things we could do. Check out these picks I just got. This pumpkin has like a velvet um, fabric over it, plus some of these. Now this charger plate could be made into um, a centerpiece too. We could put some styrofoam in the middle and build around it. So that's an option too. If you guys have any ideas of what you know you'd like to see, um, you know, let me know. Oh, really? I'll have to go check that out, Bobby. Bobby bought me this giant bag. Let's let's open it up because I haven't gone through it like I should have. I know I just threw some stuff in here I had laying around, but let's let's show them what you did. Bobby came to me and said, the store is closing. I think I could get you some cool stuff. And I said, all right. So she bought this bag. And look at this. This has lights. These pine cones. Um, that's something I found. Okay, there's a pick. It could be used for fall. This is like winter. Another pick that could be used for fall. This is Christmas. She bought this whole bag for me. And then she told me the bag was 57 cents. Now these are really pretty. They have like peach in them. And there's some apples. Bobby's a teacher, so I have to make her an apple wreath. We won't mention that dirty word of when she goes back to school. Another one of those picks. There's a evergreen pick. There are some grapes. Another one of these. These are apples, I think, Bobby. I'm looking. More apples. Another one of those picks. Fruits. Eater fruit. Some more apples. Another one of those. I love that one. Oh, another little evergreen pick. Another one. Another one. I never had enough of those. Some more apples. Little grapes. <laughs> another apple. Yeah, look like little grapes. That whole bag for 57 cents. Can you believe it? 
She made out good. I made out good. She didn't even charge me the 57 cents. <laughs> but I love these apples because I went and got a really big pencil and some teacher ribbon. And we're going to make her a really nice wreath for her classroom. No pumpkins. It looks like just apples and such and fruit. But that's okay. This stuff will get used for sure. But this is something I could use now for the fall season. Um, I even found a basket, and maybe that would be nice at Thanksgiving in the basket on the table. I, I just, I love the colors of this. See how it's got like gold dripping on it? I love those. And look at that. She even went and got them in groups of three. Did I teach her right or what? She's one of my class students. And look at the size of those flowers. All for 57 cents. That just is unbelievable. See how far I got with it. <laughs> it has to be sorted and put in with the, the right season, so... And these will be cute. You know what? They would make a nice centerpiece. Little battery operated lights. That would be awesome. Yep. Hello, Kathy. Hello, everybody. So we'll have to work on this as a centerpiece and a sign. Hey, come on, doesn't anybody need spiders? I wanted a couple of packets of spiders and they came in packets of like 24 so I've got all these spiders 99 cents doesn't anybody need spiders look at these they're so cool 99 cents plus shipping there's purple there's orange and there's green there's five in a pack so if you need those let me know because I'm inundated with spiders All right, ladies, I think we're good on our, uh, on our wreath. We'll go ahead and paint the sign green. We've got 14-inch grapevine wreath with a ring of cotton all around it. I zip-tied it to the base. Then we're going to go ahead and paint the welcome sign green and put that across. This would be cute in a tobacco basket. It'll sit up nice. Or you can hang it as a wreath. Or you could put it as a, a centerpiece. But that's it. And I have three of these kits left if anybody's interested. All right, I guess that's it for tonight. I'll do another live on Wednesday afternoon here at 2. Um, not sure what I'm going to do that day. Okay, that'd be great, Don. You got it, dear. It's, it's only running like a couple of dollars, and really, they weigh hardly anything. So, that's awesome.
All right. And uh, check back because I've got a bunch of uh, Halloween stuff coming in, a bunch of um, black wreaths. I'm going to actually make um, a ghost to put in the middle of it. So we're going to have some awesome stuff. Thank you, Sherry. All right. Good. Now I only have like <laughs> five doesn't even make a dent in the amount of spiders I've got. I know we'll be using them in class. I've got some really neat um, classes coming up. So we've got wooden spider webs too and pumpkins. So, um, lots of stuff. I think I'm just going to start, po you want to, which, um, which pumpkin sign are you talking about? The one I made, Sue, or the other one? Because I, I, I carry the bats and I carry the spider webs and I glittered them and then I glued a spider in the middle of the spider web. Is that the one you're talking about? Or are you talking about the pumpkin that says Halloween? This one that I glittered. Or was it the welcome to our patch? Is that pumpkin sign? Spiders are really nice because they're made of like a rubber and you can just push them down and use hot glue and they stick to whatever. This was actually the sign that I used for the sign swap. I glittered the whole thing and put um, vinyl behind it that's glow in the dark behind the punk, behind the ghost and the, the word. You let me know if you think of it, Sue. So. I got, look, <laughs> I have so many spiders. Okay, see you, Bobby. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm going to go up and take care of the babies. If anybody wants more spiders, let me know. And uh, I'll be on here on Wednesday afternoon at 2. Thank you, Shari. Thank you, LaVon. All right, everybody. Good night. And thanks for stopping and spreading the love. It's appreciated. Don't forget to spread the love. <laughs> Thank you. Good night.